Hi, I'm Matt Rabel, and this is The Spread, brought to you by MyAx. Welcome to The Spread. I'm Matt Rabel, here to bring you the latest and greatest of options news. Will the Fed Reserve cut rates again in October? And by how much? A lot of people are asking that question, and expectation for negative interest rates is growing. According to a Wall Street Journal story published this week, the number of bullish contracts outstanding on Eurodollar futures that pay out if interest rates hit zero or fall below has increased to about 1.2 million, according to CME Group data through September. As Fed watching becomes a competitive sport among fixed income traders, it's interesting to see the Intercontinental Exchange acquire the Merrill Lynch Options Volatility Estimate, a family of U.S. fixed income volatility indices with the acronym MOVE, which some bill as the VIX for bonds. Where it gets even more interesting is that the move's shift may heat up competition between ICE and SIBO. SIBO has its own measure of interest rate volatility, the SIBO slash CBOT 10-year U.S. Treasury Note Volatility Index, or TYVIX. SIBO needs to work on that name. The TYVIX sounds like something you wrap your new home's walls with. The TYVIX uses VIX methodology to measure a constant 30-day expected volatility of 10-year Treasury Note future prices and is calculated based on pricing from CBOT's actively traded options on the T-note futures. So, how about making a 14,000% return on two trades? Well, Eddie Choi, a user on the popular news and discussion platform Reddit, says he was able to turn a $766 investment into more than $107,000 from just two options trades on Robinhood. Choi was interviewed by Bloomberg, who confirmed his claims. Choi credited Luck for his success, as well as Wall Street Bets, a subsection of Reddit or subreddit where people discuss and exchange off-color memes about options trading. Mind you, this is the same subreddit where back in January, another user somehow managed to lose almost $58,000 on a $3,000 investment. I was always taught not to believe everything you read online, but a stop clock is right twice a day, I guess. Speaking of bad ideas, News broke this week that the CFTC put the smack down on Circle Society, an off-exchange pool that traded binary options on foreign currencies and cryptocurrency pairs. I guess selling brain supplements and volcano insurance wasn't working out for them. The operators of the pool duped about 14 people out of $11 million worth of cash and digital assets by guaranteeing 300% returns. The CFTC ordered the pool's operators to pay all manner of fees and ban them from running similar operations in the future. Lastly, in the next two weeks, the Brexit drama will play out for the October 31st deadline. Would you buy a Brexit will happen binary option or be a seller? My prediction is that either way, there will be no winners. That's all for the spread this week. I'm Matt Rabel signing off from the chilly streets of Chicago.